Listen, listen, listen. What's going on, good people? What's going on, good people, huh? We got to switch this real quick. We got to switch this. Let me see. What's going on, good people? Let's fix this guy real quick. Let's fix this focus real quick. Hold on. Let me get that focus right where it's supposed to be. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Good to see y'all here today. We are talking about getting faster in reason. I'm going to tell y'all something real quick. I actually made this live stream title and thumbnail like a whole month ago, like a whole long time ago. We were supposed to have this conversation. And um, right now, I just wanted to just hop on live and have that conversation with you guys. So I got a couple things in mind that I wanted to talk about. And maybe there's some questions that we can get answered. Maybe there's some questions we can get answered that will that will also 
speak to this topic. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's some questions that can get answered that we can speak to in this topic. All right. So um, first and foremost, though, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Shout out my good people that are here in the stream. Let me switch over to chat real quick. So right now in the stream, we got 803 MGTV. We got Sasha in the building. We got JR. JR says, peace, Chris. Sasha, hey there. Yo, what's good, MG3? It's good to see y'all uh, in the chat, in the building. <laughs> Gotta turn this down. Turn that down. Shout outs to y'all, man. I'm, I'm glad to be back home, too. We was traveling. We was uh, having some fun, you know, for, for um, Super Bowl, man. We were having fun for Super Bowl. So it's good to be back. It's good to be back. All right, first question. Hey. I have a mixer question. Let me just pull your, let me just pull this up so we can see your mixer question, man. Hold on. I want to be able to put it on the screen so everybody can see it. All right, here we go. Hey, I have a mixer question. Do you happen to know why they completely removed the insert section on the mixer? Because you used to be able to save it right there, man. I know exactly what you are talking about. And to answer the question, I can't answer the question. I can't I can't tell you why, right? Um, we could probably do some research and we could probably look to see if we could find it in the Reason Studios news. Um, we can look to see when they did that update because essentially it was there, right? It was there, it was live, and then it wasn't. So there is a way that we could do that. There is a way that we could find that out. I can't tell you exactly why. Um, why they did that, what was happening behind the scenes or, you know, you know, what was the reason for why they, you know, took that out? I, I couldn't tell you, but I would like to look that up to be able to like answer the question of, hey, why, why isn't it there? You know, like why, why did we lose that feature? Because I want to say that that was a good feature and that was something that people did appreciate. So I don't, I, don't, I can't understand why um, they took it away, but maybe we can, maybe we can look it up and we can find out. Let me see, save, insert. Um, maybe we can look it up on there and, and, and see why they took it out. But yeah, good question. Uh, Native Complex, much love, homie. Thanks for the knowledge. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming through to the stream. All right, so we was cooking up this beat and, um, as I, as I search through and try to find the answer to that question that we had, you know what I'm saying? I also just wanted to, um, I got to put this somewhere, somewhere else. There we go. Let's put this over here. Uh, also wanted to search through this and, you know, get an understanding of some different things that we can do for our workflow to speed up our workflow. And there's a lot of different things that you can do to speed up your workflow. I want to talk about an area that doesn't get a lot of love but probably should get more love than it than it you know than it doesn't get and that's our browser section man the browser section over here in in terms of workflow i don't think it gets enough love uh, uh enough love that it should get okay so this is how i typically use my browser section i have folders i have refills and i have some effects I also have some favorites, but not a whole lot of favorites. And some of these favorites are just for refills. Like this phantom favorite here really just corresponds to a refill. And because it's so old, it probably will crash my... Oh, no, there it are. So these are all of the phantom patches that are found inside of a refill that I use. And I just wanted to be able to quickly, you know, grab those refills rather than... Rather than having to search through and find it, I just wanted to be able to quickly find those refills. So that was the reason why I created this favorite, right? So that I could have that. We should put that there. And um, some sometimes I have patches that I really liked. And I was like, man, I want to be able to load that patch up again. So I just sent that there. This looks like a utility combinator patch that I was working on where I could just use this to create something. See, literally, this is just like a one shot. So it's called the dream one shot key. So what I would do is load up a one shot and then you could use that within this combinator. And so since I had already created the combinator, I dropped that patch in there. And so that's why that patch is there. 
So same thing for, you know, different different patches that might exist. Now, I think that, you know, one thing we can do is tidy this area up. So some of these are just some go to things. Nasty base, nastier base. Those are go to things. Anytime that I'm working with a 808 or anytime I'm working with a baseline or just, you know, anything that is base. Um, I'm usually going to add one of those patches. I'm usually going to add either a nasty base or a nastier base. I'm going to just come over here to show insert effects and I'm going to drop that guy in there. So I might drop in nasty base. It just depends. And what I can tell you is that for the most part, if I make a beat and mix the beat well and everything is good, but I don't use something on the channel like this, if I don't use something like this, this nasty base, if I don't use something like that, then I can pretty much guarantee that the bass is not going to hit the way that I want it to. There has only there's rarely ever a case where I use one of these nasty bass, nastier bass, or any of the other ones, you know, hard A bass, gentle bass, like any of these, where it's like, oh, the bass was too heavy or the bass was too hot, right? It's there's never like a, a situation where that happens. You know, there's never really a situation where that happens so definitely those are some things that you can use but some other ones that i use is uh the class a two band compressor and multi-band compressor so multi-band compressor uh is a compressor and like i said once you find it inside of the folder the effects folder like this general purpose folder once you find something that you really like just throw it over here in this throw it over here throw it over here in this section right here this browser section so that way it's always there you know and and i like to leave it out like this and not in another folder or in another um favorite i like to leave it out like this so that way i know it's always there and i can just catch it when it's time to when it's time to load it in i just grab it and drag it over it just goes in my master and that's what i use for my master um typically that's what i'm using for my master as long as it's a decent mix as long as there's a decent mix, meaning like things are not too loud and too like as long as it's a decent mix, then that is all I really need to like pull my music up to a certain point where it's like, OK, this sounds good. We can play this side by side with beat stars or on YouTube or something like that. We can pull up the master game. We can get it sounding good. Right. It'll take something. You know, it'll take something if my if my fader knobs are real low. If my knobs are low like this, it'll push it up, make it sound just as loud as if they were like this. But of course, instead, now they've been tuned. I have my EQ and my leveling happening and everything like that. And it will just make the difference. All right. So I like to drop things there. So I like to drop effects, patches. I like to drop instruments just in there. Just drop them in there. Look at this. Even this right here. I have this Stoic 808 because I like this. I'll let you guys hear what this sounds like. This is from, I want to say this is from Curtis King. Um, and it was just a bass that I heard that I liked and I wanted to play around with it more. So I didn't want to lose it. So I was like, okay, just put it over there because I don't want to have to go find it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's that the baby. you know what I'm saying? That's that the baby type bass you know what i'm saying so maybe instead what i'll do is i'll put the baby but see i don't really make a lot of the baby stuff but whatever i could just put the baby and then drop that into that favorite list and then i can just delete it from here so that it's not just a wave file sticking out but that could be the case because there's another one um when i go into my drum kits right there spins 808 it's just always there so i might just come here and drop that um here's go to 808s just drop those in the go to 808s right and then for the baby now this loads up like this and what i can do is start adding in other wave files adding in other synths that i think might you know go with that kind of sound this will really speed up your workflow in in, in terms of that frank nitty what up man welcome it says i use bass guitar i'm guessing you mean that you use bass guitar what do you mean i use bass guitar like um you play bass guitar and um if so cool um so this is something that i started but I'm, I'm tidying up this area you know what i'm saying this is some stuff that i started but i didn't finish hop out the wraith this was like one of my favorite beats of like last year and i just wanted to make sure that i i kept 
the elements that I kept for that beat. So I saved the drums, I saved the patch that I was using. What is this, hi-hats, okay, that's the hi-hat patch I was using. And let me see, what was this one? So I basically, it's from one beat. It's like, oh, this is the sounds that I use for beat. So I just put that in my folder area. Here's the piano I was using. So now it's like, okay, if I want that specific sound, then I know that I always have that piano and I always have those hi-hats and I always have those drums. That really was the main, the main thing from that beat was the piano and the drums and the bass and everything like that. So just wanted to make sure that I kept those things. Let me see if I can play some hop, hop out the. How about the race? Uh, I ain't never been in a race in my life. Um. Oh well, here's the patch, but I don't have the I don't have the music. Okay, I'm gonna do that on the side. So what I was saying was, here's some different favorites. So marching band. It looks like I started doing something with it. Let's just delete it. Let's tidy this stuff up because there's some stuff in here that I just was not even using. Okay. Sound test is probably from a live stream and I probably was throwing in these patches for sound tests, you know, whatever that is. My go-to 808s, I got a rhythmic drum machine because that's an 808 machine. Um, vinyl in there, 808 pack is right here. This is my 808 pack that I created. Um, you guys probably can't hear it. But this is my 808 pack that I created. And it's also right there as well. So, you know, it's different use cases that you can use for the favorites. And I like also if you drop in a player or instrument, it will show you in this area. Right. So that's that's very helpful. One thing I've been using my favorites for is like for these contact libraries and stuff like that. So here's another example by genre. Like, oh, I'm going to create a beat. I'm going to create this beat by genre. So I'm going to um, use this in order to create my track. Right. So it's like, OK. Um, dope, Frank. So I know that these are the instruments that I like to use whenever I'm going to go into my Neo Soul bag. I know I want, you know, I know I want these roads. I know I want those roads whenever, whenever I'm going into my Neo Soul bag. So, but you just think of all of the things that could go there, right? Like you can put patches, you can put combinators, you can put, you know, just all kind of stuff. So now we got that right and i've been using stage 73 a lot so like stage 73 is there modal bass these are instruments and things that i would use for that genre um i'm gonna delete this one uh showcase is one of the favorites that reason just starts with these are patches that they've created that they just want to showcase and this could be like a place that you could go instead of like searching through things you could just like load up these different things and it'll, and it'll tell you like what kind of sounds they are synth bass acoustic bass drum pads you got pads you got leads right it'll tell you the different things so it's like okay here are the signature leads that they kind of want you to check out you know this is the showcase and that's that's a really good little lead, right? That's a pretty nice crispy saw right there. Um, I like these leads. That's something that might get used for um, a riff.
definitely can find something uh, within this showcase pack. Uh, uh, within this so showcase favorites, you definitely can find uh, you definitely can find some dope stuff. You can definitely find some dope stuff. Um, let me see. Uh, here's the last one. Since we went through the Willie pushes. <laughs> like you know really cool really cool stuff there right never you know just think about that just just think about that think about that um another cool thing is if you have a patch like this like i have this Rhodes analog patch this is actually a saved patch that i use i'm gonna drop it into my neo soul also so <clears throat> one way that you can you know speed up your process when you are using vsts is to use this area right here you know, it's just like a combinator, but you're saving the patch. So, you know, you can always usually I should say usually what up CBC voter <laughs> usually inside of a, a VST, you will have the option to save the patch that you're using. Right. Like, for example, with analog lab, I can hit this heart and then that will go into my favorites. So now these are my favorites in Analog Lab, right? So I can do that heart, or I'm pretty sure that there's a way that if I'm inside the VST, there's a way for me to save this patch, you know, or save my changes that I did to the patch, right? There's, there's, there's always just a way. Here it is. Save preset as. So now I can save this preset, and we'll call this Chris Rhodes, you know, Chris Rhodes, 1973. I don't know. We'll save it. It goes into the user bank. And then now you can um you can have that in your user bank. But if I want to really be able to pull up that sound immediately, whatever VST I'm working on, whether it's from contact, like I'll do that for, for this contact player here. Here's contact. Here's rudiments. For whatever vst that i'm working in when i'm working on that vst and i find a patch that i really like like i did with uh with this patch here Like, I like that patch, right? So, of course, I can save it in contact. But then if I want to be able to load it up very quickly in Reason, I need to use this button. So, if I use Save Patch, now I can save this patch. And I can call this Rudiments, um, you know, Rudiments Drums, right? And then maybe I'll put today's date or just something for me to remember, like, where did this thing come from, right? So, maybe I'll put today's date and now I know, okay, this is from the February you know, this is from February 16th live stream when I found those drums. And also, oh, that's the secondary point that I wanted to get to because I did want to I did want to get to that point as well. You know, when it comes to getting faster and reason, when it comes to doing your workflow, like we we're just talking about the browser, your browser has a browser inside the browser, right? Like you can browse all of reasons effects and instruments but you also can browse your own folders so that means you have to have some organization as well so when i have this patches i can hit show and explore and then it will pull up this as well so now you know this is just my folders inside of the computer the more organized this is the better this will work for me for reason as well so now i have for example something that I can do in this situation is I can sort by type and I have all of these VST patches. So now I can make a folder. I can say, okay, we're going to make a folder. We're going to call this the VST patches. Okay. So I'll make our, our VST patches folder. I'm going to grab all of these guys. And sometimes I use cut. Sometimes I drag. I'm going to just cut them, go to VST patches and paste them. Right. So now they're pasted into there. Now I have this folder. I can drag this entire VST patches folder 
and just drop it right there. I can delete this guy because I don't need you anymore. And now I have all of my VST patches, right? So I'm, I don't know what VST they are, but obviously I saved this patch. Like right here, it says mini V. So I know that's mini V. Look, take them to church organ. I don't know what, I don't know what that came from. Like, I don't know what I'm loading up. I'm loading up analog lab, but I know that this was a patch that I really liked. Right. And so of course you could also just get specific with things as well. Like, you know, when you go to save your patch, if I'm, if I'm going here, if I'm in contact, I, I want to save this patch for contact. This is a, these are all drums, but I can hit that save button. And then when I go to my VST patches, maybe I have another folder that says drums, right? Or maybe I have a folder that says specifically what VST I'm using. So here, this would be rudiments. So now, you know, the more organized I am, the better that workflow is going to become, you know, because now I can find things right away rather than searching for them throughout the folders. So this is just tips, ideas, things that you can use, right, for your own benefit. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want that. But that's something we could definitely use. We can we could use that folder, have that rudiments folder there, and then if we wanted, we could save all of the rudiments patches that we really like. We could save them into there. And like I said, the reason why we like that is because now I can just look piano verse concert grand. It saves me time. It saves me time because now I don't have to load up piano verse and then go find the patch. I already saved the piano verse concert grand that I like. So when I'm working with VSTs, this is very fast. This makes this a very fast process to be able to get that VST in, you know, that I want to use because it takes time for, you know, like this VST, this piano verse, which is from IK Multimedia, it takes time for this thing to load up. It's not a quick process. It's not something that happens, you know, very fast and then you just go on about your day. It takes some time. But I think that it's it's worth it. I think it I think it's worth oh, I did all that y'all couldn't hear it ha 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 uh, or maybe you could hear it through my microphone it takes time to load it up but once it's loaded it's good to go so that's definitely going to like save you some time if you use VSTs that will save you some time by saving them from the VST actually saving that patch and being able to just drag and drop that guy in right there right little saturated light saturated like these are these are these are effects that we can load in. I'm gonna just load that light saturated. And that's my saturation knob. So I know that I can just do that right now. And that don't sound the greatest, but that's 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 the idea. And for something like that, I would want to I, I would want to go a little deeper. I would want to go a little deeper in terms of like how that is organized so I can know a little bit better, a little more clear you know what that means because right now it's just a random patch that just says light sat little saturated lo-fi okay here's lo-fi we throw lo-fi i just know that me like me i know what it's for but you know
right, cool. So this is just, you know, an idea of how you can do, you know, some of that. This will definitely speed up your workflow inside of Reason. This will speed this up by having these patches ready to go, um, you know, setting it up in that way, that's gonna speed it up. Depending on the type of like person that you are, producer that you are, some things might speed you up, some things might slow you down. Um, so for example, some things that sometimes having instruments loaded up slows me down. I like to be able to come in and just start playing immediately. So sometimes I go to my piano and I'll like start playing ideas because I know as soon as I come into the garage, I can touch a key and it's going to work, right? I don't have to load up a VST or load up an instrument or anything like that. I just know it's going to work. Or maybe I grab my guitar, but same thing with the guitar. I got to load up an actual instrument, like an actual a a effect patch so that I get the amp that I want. I get the sound that I want out of it. So sometimes those things slow you slow me down for some people that might not slow you down it might it might be better for you to just have things already up so for me lately i've been working with having at least one instrument on the template right having at least one instrument on the template and so i'll show you if i if i go new if i press new and then i gotta make sure that i close it when i press new i have battery contact and contact four right and pretty much because i've been checking out uh complete now so i just been checking that out and making sure you know just listening to stuff so the first instrument is always the drums. it's always it's always and then it's probably gonna sound funky now but just hold on with me i always load up this this is my new patch and you know if you want to create your own template i'll show you how you can do that right now since we're talking about templates so sometimes i start like this and this is great because it's like okay boom i know exactly what i want i have my intro my hook my verse section set up using the blocks right and i very rarely will actually go into the block and work like this but that's an option. I usually like working in song and then just recording like that because that's how I've always used Reason. So that's what works quickly for me. It might work better for you to do it differently than how I'm doing it. But I usually have my section set up like that. So I know, okay, I'm going to work. I want to work inside of this area. I want to work inside of that area. That's how I have things set up. So, okay, cool. Let's work on the intro. And I rarely actually work like that. Probably more, more likely than not, I start with the hook. And the reason why I start with the hook when I'm making my track is because the hook tends to be the place that has the most instruments or the most things happening inside of the beat. So when I create the hook, I know like, okay, this is what the overall most sounds are going to be inside the track. And then when I go to the verse, all I'm doing is removing elements so i'm removing certain percussion or i'm removing certain synths or i'm removing certain sounds or you know i'm changing the bass maybe in the hook i have an 808 but in the bass i mean but in the verse i have a bass line i have a bass line from a bass guitar it's usually that's how I've, i flip things up so i'm changing things removing things from the verse so i start with my hook and then same thing with the intro. The intro should have probably like the least amount of things. It might not even be this long. It might be even shorter, right? But we would start it this way because that's typically how I work. So creating something like this where it's like, okay, I know I have drums ready. I know I have like, like for example, this should be set to something. Right now it's not set to anything. So it won't actually play anything. Um, but I should have something loaded up with this contact. So maybe I'll come in here and I'll drop in an Alicia's keys. Okay, and we'll we'll drop that in and I'll go to um let's go to like big studio or something like that. So we we got Alicia's keys loaded up. And since we was just talking about it, we're gonna load up this patch and this is going to be we're gonna load up, we're gonna save this patch, save it as Alicia Keys. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna call this Super Bowl. Cause she was just in the Super Bowl, getting hugged up by uh, by um, <laughs> by um, 
Usher. I thought that was so crazy. I don't know. Everybody feels differently about that situation. I don't know. Um, you know what I'm saying? Swiss Beats came out and said he was cool with it. So, Swiss, if you cool with it, you cool with it because that's your wife. You're the only person got to be cool with it. I wouldn't be cool with it. I would be looking at that like, excuse me, sir. You're doing a little bit too much. Okay, Chris, don't get too distracted. So, we got Alicia Keys, Super Bowl. Um, I have our battery pack right here. We're about to save this template. I'm going to save it under a different kit because I always start with that same kit. And now I want to start with something different. Okay, so we're just going to save this something else. Um, I'm not even going to listen to it. I'm just going to load up a different kit. And let me see. That looked cool. Aristocratic? That might sound cool. So we'll have that there. And we'll come in here. We'll hit save. And this is... Um, Let's go to our VST patches. Okay, we'll hit new. That was drum. Let's do drums. Okay. And um, we'll call this, this is battery for uh, aristocratic, something like that. I don't know. So we'll just save it. So that way it's saved. We know that it's there. We know that it's saved, right? Um, for this last one, this is contact seven. So only certain instruments work with contact seven. Other instruments need to play from the contact. So maybe in, so maybe here I'll go like with homage or something like that because this is a contact seven instrument. We'll just load it up. You know, we'll load it up. We'll have the patch loaded, everything like that. Um, it's set to chopped keys. Uh, maybe instead we'll go to like a bass since we already have a piano. So we'll go, we'll set this to bass. Um, <clears throat> we'll come back. Oh, that, what? We'll come back here. We'll save this patch. Uh, same thing, right? VST patches. I'll go ahead and hit new. We're going to save this as base. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is homage base. I'm going to just put homage base one. So now all of those are saved and they're saved inside of our VST patches folder and they're saved in a specific area so you know we know that those are there and this is what we're starting with right i don't need this guy this is something that i use to actually send information into my live stream so that's why that's there i usually always bypass this uh, master section and, and i use it last instead of using it first so that way i don't have limiters and things like that on there one thing that i also wanted to do just because um i am working in this uh just because I'm working in this, I also wanted to just create some more sin effects. So I used to have this RV. I want to have that there. And I also want to do another one because um, let me see, create sin effects. I used to have that there and I used to have the echo and I want those things back. OK, so cool. So now we have we have some of reasons effects as sin effects and we have some of contacts effects as send effects so this is a reverb right this is a reverb and this is a delay and then this is also reverb two and the echo is a delay two okay so now we have reverb two delay to echo two so cool we got reverbs and delays and typically that's what i use for send effects um i don't really do much other things usually go into the actual insert area or whatever so i know that i got these things ready to go i have a contact i have a, all right so all that's ready to go right so now i want to make sure that when i load this up the window looks exactly how i want it to look right so i'm loading this guy up with the window looking how I want it to look. So now that it's set how I want it to set, I want to hit save. And I have a folder for stuff like this, these templates. I just use MISC, like miscellaneous. And so you'll see there's another one. It should say probably native access temp one. Okay, we're going to change that to temp two. Okay, so now I'm saving this as a song file. It's been saved. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to come to my preferences. This is how you can do your own templates. Go to my preferences, hit preferences. And right here in general, it will say default song. You can set it to empty. I'll show you guys what empty looks like, by the way. We'll just set this to empty so you see. This is what empty looks like. Okay, it's nothing in here. 
There's no nothing. There's nothing in here at all. Nothing in the master section, right? Nothing on the mixer, no insert effects, nothing. It's just complete nothingness. Um, but it, we don't necessarily want that. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Okay, you can set it to low last song on startup. I'm gonna use template and then I'm gonna choose the template that I want. So this native access temp one. So now I'm gonna go load up native access temp two. And it should say um, complete now. It's not native access, it's complete now. So this is my complete now uh, setup that I have been using. I'm gonna save this track that we were working on. Let's listen to it. And that's how you do a template. <laughs> some things happening. And I'm sure that that bass is very loud. I don't have my headphones, but I'm gonna get them headphones on in a second. This might be the this might be the hook. It's got a lot of little bounce to it.
can pull up our guitar for our intro. Guitar for the intro. Not you, this one. been talking about getting faster and reason we've been willie jackson jr what's up man we have been talking about getting faster and reason uh we've been looking at some workflow things we've been talking about the browser you know we've been talking about the browser section we also looked at templates you know creating our own templates how we can load up our own templates how we can save patches for vsts 
because saving patches for VSTs, that can help you speed up loading up your different instruments and your different sounds. So these are some of the things that we talked about with getting faster and reason. Now, a lot of things that I tend to tell people whenever I have this kind of conversation is to learn things like shortcuts. Like shortcuts are very important. The more shortcuts that you know, the, the easier things become. And one thing about like reason, like one thing about making beats in reason, um, one thing that they really make it like easier for you is if you have this kind of keyboard, the kind of keyboard that has a number pad, if you have this kind of keyboard, it will speed things up. Um, some people use transports like this M audio keyboard has transports on it, but I never can get those transports to work correctly in reason. So I like using the number pad because each of these numbers do something different. And um, it's uh, it's all very useful. So something that I do a lot, you'll probably hear me clicking. Um, I press zero, double zero a lot. And there's a way that you can do it, man. Oh, man. How do I do it? How do I show show keyboard presses? I know you can do it on Mac. How do I do it on Windows? How do I do it on Windows? I wish that there was a way. So that way you guys can see me as I'm as I'm pressing on my keyboard and stuff. Yeah, that way you guys can see it. Um, Google is your friend. There's a wonderful OBS plugin for that. I have that, but I don't like the way that it works. I don't, I don't want to go through that. I, I, I have that, but I don't want to go through that. So anyway, there's different functions for all of them, right? Zero is stop. Enter is play. This period button, it sends you back to the beginning of the track, right? So you press period, it sends you back to the beginning. So we got zero, enter, period. One sends you to the left indicator. Okay, one sends you to the left indicator. And two sends you to the right indicator, okay? So wherever you have these indicators, you just hit two. It sends you to the right of the right indicator. You press one, sends you to the inside part of the left indicator. That's just for moving around inside of Reason. That's just gonna make things a little bit easier in terms of moving around. If you highlight any clip and press P, it will set a loop around that instrument. It will set a loop around that clip. If you highlight a clip, if you highlight a clip and press P, it will set a loop around that clip and it will start playing the loop as well. Right. As soon as you press P, it will just start doing that. Okay. Um, four will rewind. Okay. I don't use six. Six is to do like an alternate take. I don't use six. Um, on the keyboard, you can press period and period does the same thing as the six number pad. It just gives you more of these lanes. Um, I use the comma because comma just gives you a new, it doesn't mute anything. It just gives you a new lane, a new note lane. So I use the comma. So anytime I know I'm about to, you know, create a new one of those, I just use comma and it just gives me one. So all you have to do is be clicked onto an instrument, press comma, it'll give you a new note lane. So a lot of times I use new note lanes. Like, for example, look at this example I have right here. This first lane is my uh, intro. This next lane is for my hook. So if I do, usually that's how I use my note lanes. I want them to be different sections of the track. Uh, but another reason you could use it is because you want to use different grooves. So if I want one groove of the bass line to have a lot of shuffle, but I don't want the rest of it to have a lot of shuffle, then I can set this one to um, shuffle, right? This is A8. This will be our shuffle groove. And then we can just, you know, change it like that. We can change our clip to be there. And this was how it will sound if it's shuffled. <laughs> Our shuffle lane is our not shuffle. But this is straight. I like this one. I like it with less shuffle. Like it, I do like it with less shuffle. So those are some times that you would use different note lanes, right? Those are different times you would use different note lanes, okay? Um 
move around the track with eight. So eight and four um, will move you around. Uh, eight and four and five, I should say. So four goes backwards, five goes forward. Um, and then this moves the indicator, but not by forwarding or rewinding. It just moves the indicator. It's a little different. So when I'm fast forwarding or rewinding like this, I'm moving around, but it's not making any sounds. See that? It's just like smoothly moving to the next area as I'm fast forwarding and rewinding. But if I press eight, it's like trying to play the song. So that means I can move around. Move around the song like that. Nine is for click. And the, the one button that probably gets used the most is zero. Zero gets moved a lot because that's stop. And then the star. Star is to record. Star gets moved around a lot, right? Star gets moved around a lot. Control P is for the pre-click. So I use that a lot. Shortcut, key, shortcut keys are important, okay? Control P, that's what I use for, um, that's for your pre-clount. You can use nine or you can press C for your click. Nine or C and that will turn your your click on and off right and then like i said um the the slash right here is for your loop and then plus and minus is for tempo and then like i said if you use the star it's for record so i use that a lot use that record a lot stuff for that so those are like a lot of the like keyboard shortcuts that i like to use um because they just speed things along you know another thing is learning all the keyboard shortcuts definitely gonna speed you along control d because then you can duplicate control z because then you can undo and undo is very powerful uh, so always keep undo ready to go whenever you, you know, thinking about doing something in your track. Make sure you have undo ready to go, man. You never know when you're going to have to start over. So and this way, what this does is this keeps you from using your mouse so much. Like if you know you can use this to get to like to the right area. Um, then you don't need to get your mouse and go here or go there, right? You know, like, all right, cool. I can just rewind and, and get right where I need to go, and then I can record from there. I never have to use my mouse, right? I should be able to, I should be able to, you know, go to a new instrument, start a new track. Like, I should be able to do all of these things without ever having to really use my mouse, right? So if I'm here, if I'm here on, on my guitar and I press comma and then I want to get to this part of the track right there. Um, I want to get there and then I want to record something here. I'm going to press P. I'm going to turn on my record and then now I'm set to record and I never had to touch my mouse. Right. So now I can start recording. that I should be able to delete start my recording again cool I can move this guy I can shift this guy over by holding control and and, and pressing left and right so put it where I want it to go, press one to get back to the left loop indicator, play. I never touched my mouse. I haven't touched my mouse. So that's how you speed up. I go to the mixer, flip this guy around. Okay, I need to get around to do some different stuff. Let me see, on that bass line. Oh, I gotta turn my loop back on, here we go. That snare hit you in the head, DL. What's up, DL? Yeah. Said the snare. I don't have my headphones, so I can't really hear. I, I'm gonna have to go get my headphones. 
Uh, I can't really hear exactly how loud it is. Let's see. I haven't used my mouse. Let me see. I'm going to just... Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of loud. Not really, though. Nah, I don't think that you can do that. I don't think you can... Uh, I don't think you can. I think you have to use your mouse to turn something down. I don't think there's a shortcut for that here. But wouldn't that be cool if I could do that? Um, I think I can go to the rack. session we did not touching the mouse we were able to add in some bass add in an effect you can do some stuff man and once you learn how to do it you can really get around us some stuff but it's not the biggest thing it's just learn the shortcuts because that's important and that's good it can help you. i'm gonna move this bass line somewhere else because i like the way that bass line kind of comes kind of cool you know i was kind of feeling myself i'm gonna turn this up. so i've been learning that less is more sometimes so like for this section we're going to cut out some of the melody but we're going to keep it on that synth so we're going to keep the first part but then we're going to delete that is more just adding in a little something there with the synth Let's play along with that guitar
Okay, so now I'm going to add in like another little synthy sound to kind of play off of those sounds. Um... <laughs> What up, Catchy Noise Productions, man? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? All right, we're supposed to be adding this in real quick. Hold on. Nah, catchy noise. Uh, master section is not on. Uh, master section is not on, on this um on this track. Where is this thing at? It's supposed to be in here somewhere. Hold on, I'm just I'm trying to copy this real quick. I want to put this somewhere so that it's on here. There we go. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is currently on the master effects. Um. Nothing's currently on the master effect. It's just uh it's bypassed. So multi-band compressor, but it's bypassed. So nothing on there right now. I think I have that. I think I have that filter actually from the last time. I tend to I tend to use it in the last process. I tend to use like I don't like to I don't like to create with it. I don't like to create with it. I like to create first, and then anything that goes into this master section, I want that to happen like last, right? um yeah exactly so i know i have that uh that that filter who's it by again 
Oh, Arturius filter. Yeah, I know I have that. I know it's in here. Filter MS20. Yeah, I know that guy's in here. Uh huh. Yeah, and it's it's everything I've seen with it is just very like super distorted. I just be looking for just like a subtle kind of thing, and instead of giving me like a subtle thing, it always just gives me like something like super heavy. It just always give me something super heavy. Um, but in general, filter MS20 is dope too. Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. And um. But yeah, everything master section, I like to keep it I like to keep it bypass. I do it after. But yeah, I haven't I haven't done that before. One thing I've done in the master section before I haven't used filter MS. I've used um I've dropped a audiomatic in there before in the master section. I have dropped definitely dropped like a saturation, like soft tube saturation knob. Um, in terms of like warmth and like giving it that saturated vibe, you know what I'm saying? I've definitely dropped one of those in there before. Oh, speaking of which, let me come in here and screenshot this guy. Cool. So now we got that there. I've definitely done, uh, I haven't done a filter MS. So I'll check that out. I've definitely done a saturation knob. I've done an automatic before, like a dry kind of wet. And, um, the only thing with this, um, is making sure that your order, making sure that your order is correct. So on this multi-band compressor, for example, I like to use this multi-band compressor patch on my master section. Um, the order is shown how it is shown, right? You have your equalizer. It, it has a split on this stereo imager for everything below 500 hertz, everything above 500 hertz. There's a split right here. That's your first split. And then all of these different bands are splitting and they're compressing right so it's all going in this order equalizer first split and then your multiple splits for the different bands and then your maximizer so all of this stuff is after the maximizer which would also be after the clip and we don't necessarily want that we want our maximizer to be the last thing because it's going to be the thing that has that limiter on there and it's going to be the thing that has that soft clip on there if this stuff is on there after then you're going to clip even if you even if your music's not that loud or whatever like if there's a instance of clipping that could happen you will clip so to remedy that you can move these things in order by holding shift clicking and dragging so now when we click and drag and we boop now this stuff is routed in order as well it, it doesn't just move it if you don't hold shift then it just moves it and it's not going to be in order but if you hold shift the routing the stuff that's happening that the cabling and the routing will end so that the maximizer is the last thing that's happening and that's what we want that's what we want to be happening we want all of this stuff to do what it's doing but we want that maximizer to be the last thing and if i wanted to just double check it i could just move the maximizer hold shift and drag it below and now i know it's the last thing it's the last thing that's in the chain right everything is feeding into it from there um let me see frank says interesting yeah so um We'll give it, we'll give it, we'll, we'll start it, we'll start it that way one day. One day we'll start it like, um, I'll load up a track that has like a real good sound, maybe something I did like a mix on, and I'll like start building from that because it'll already have all of the stuff that I already like, like on it. I'll do that one day. I think that, I think that, that would, I think that that could be cool. I know like a lot of producers, I know a lot of people start that way, like they just, they keep their mix and stuff the same. They keep their rack the same. Then they just start making new tracks. I know that that's a thing. And of course, if that's something that speeds up your workflow, because of course this live stream is all about getting faster and reason, right? And doing things faster and everything like that. If that helps your workflow, by all means, you know what I'm saying? Feel free, have at it, have at it, go through, go through with it. Um, I want to, I still want to look that up. I want to look that up because earlier, um, who was that? I asked that question. Oh, 803. I asked that question about the mixer and I want to, I want to look it up on, on reason, um, to figure out why, 
they took that off. So shift is very important, right? Shift, you can move everything, so now that's there. But all of this stuff is going to stay bypassed. This stuff is, we're we bypassing all this stuff for now. We're not, we're not working in there. Still thinking of things that we can do with the track. I'm gonna go get my headphones real quick. got some headphones in so now I got these headphones in it sound a little different now it sound a little, it sound a little different now that I got these headphones in like that kick I like that kick
side note, um, man, they are doing good, bro. They are doing good. Um, they went out to go have some fun today and left me to do my live stream and, and, and have some fun. <laughs> but they're doing good, man. He's almost one. He's almost one. Uh, shout out to him. It's 11 months today. But yeah, they're doing good, man. They're doing good. So I'm having fun my way. Exactly. I'm having fun my way. She likes it my way. My way. What I say goes. Having fun my way. But yeah, she's doing good, man. Thanks for asking, bro. Um, so let's see. I mean, are there any questions? That would be the, the thing that could push us and propel us forward is if there is any questions that we can answer about reason, man, um, in terms of like, you know, what's something that you're working on? What's something that you have an issue with or what's something you wish you could get faster at doing? Is it adding in instruments? Is it is it not even like reason based? It could just be music based, right? Like it could just be like, yeah, I'm stuck with like DL. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Like I'm stuck with certain, like stuck with certain vibes. Like I can't seem to get out of this. Like I can't seem to get out of this four bar loop. I can't seem to just, I only stay in one key or like, you know, what anything that, that, you know, you might have a question uh best way to play why uh best way to play keys best way to play keys over samples best way to play keys over samples learn the key of the sample that you're in right um best way to play keys over samples that's the first thing is learn the key of the sample that you're playing so I'll pull up uh I'll pull up my um I'll pull up my patches if I can find them somewhere. Where where would they be? Oh where oh where could they be? Let's move this stuff down here. Let's get a little more organized. You know, we we're a lot or we're a lot more organized up in this piece. You know what I'm saying? This out things looks a little better up in here. So I wanna find my samples. I'm gonna start with patches. And then, mm -mm, no, that's not what I wanted. I'm looking for my sound pack. So here's a uh, soul samples. Let me find a soul sample. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull up this sample that I created. This is a uh, this is called Jazz in C minor. This is, cool, man. This is Jazz in C minor. So, let me see if I can if I can get this thing to uh loop loop better with the tempo. Don't stretch. There we go. Disable the stretch. I'm trying to. Bum, ba ba bum, 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 Okay, we're gonna get this thing. One twenty. Okay, let's go here. We'll just edit automation. It's gonna be difficult. Um, so I'm gonna answer the question in two parts, right? The first part being uh, playing like we're gonna play drums. So the first part would be like, oh, how do we play? Like we're gonna, we want to play these drums. So 
Ooh. we're in the temple, right? We're on the temple, and um. Now, I know that I don't think that that's exactly what you were thinking about, but like. So we got some drums now, right? So keys over sample. So like this this sample, for example, has it has a lot of piano already. But if I know the scale, like I've provided with this sample, I know this I know that the scale, I know that the scale is C minor, then I can use a player like scales and chords, and I can set it to C minor. So now I know that it's set for that scale, right? But I know I know how to play C minor myself. So if I wanted to play I think I have a section in there that doesn't have a whole lot of piano, but really it's like the most, the main thing is piano. Yeah, most of it is, most of it is piano. This little jazz, and, but that's how you do it. So you, you gotta get the tempo, you gotta get the tempo and then you gotta get the scale. So we know that the scale here is C minor right so that's how you can play over that those skills and the thing that i would say is find pockets that you can play with like you know, you know if i loaded this into mimic i might it might sound different like i might play it different but i'm just playing it just as a loop but I can find the pockets of this track where it's like, oh, I can add something in right there. Rather than just like playing the entire time or playing like over the entire thing, you just find those pockets where, you know, the beat is doing something, the sample is doing something different. So let me see what So, you know, you, you got to learn something. You got to learn something. The best way to like start learning, like, like you say, like, like playing by ear, the best way to start learning is by learning a scale. Don't do C major because C major is too easy. It's just, it's just all the white keys. So don't, don't learn C major. That's what a lot of people, you can start there. You know, but don't learn C major because it's, it's just all white keys. And that's just so boring. It's just it's so boring. There's ways to, you know what I'm saying, make it sound not boring. But 
-hmm. in the beginning it's just kind of it's just it's kind of stale to just learn only the only the white keys so pick a scale that you do like so say for example like a lot of minor scales are cool i like a lot of minor scales c minor is the first one that i ever learned c minor is pretty cool but another one that um a lot of people use for like emotional beats or like emo beats like emo songs is e minor so and you can hear it it does kind of sound a little gloomy you know it sounds gloomy so so learning e minor did i do e flat minor or e minor yeah i did e minor learning that learning it in different rhythms like learn it like play it shuffle like do different things you know what i'm saying like don't just play like one note at a time notice when you play things you can hear different things right watch it Y'all know that song, right? So, so that is an accidental note because it's not. Oh, it might be. Let me let me double check over here. I'll go to E minor. I might have I might have added a, a note that I didn't need to add. I did. So I added a C sharp. You don't need to add that. It's... So you learn the scale and then you just keep playing it, playing it, playing it and play it different ways. Um, and you can introduce two hands. You can start with one hand. It really is just up to you. But just learn like, you know, what what should be played there? Like what what notes are in that scale? And then as you learn that, it'll get easier to like find the next thing. Right. It'll get easier to play the next thing, you know, learning to play by ear. So and then, you know, you, you learn you learn to hear melodies and hear songs. You learn to hear different songs as you're playing, you know, learning to play by ear. Um, and then don't just leave it at that like i got this guitar on but i'm not even playing guitar right now don't leave it at you know playing by ear or learning by ear like go look and and see the different scales you know like go you know search piano chords is what i'm trying to say like search for piano chords and put it in the scale that you want it to be in like oh you know piano chords in e minor right like just search it Here's a website right here. You just search it and then it's not so much um, learning by ear as much as it is, it is learning by sight. It's just like learning, oh, okay, these are the different types of chords in E minor. And then I can just like play them and see what they sound like. So I know like a, a diminished chord. Oh, this is what a good diminished chord sounds like. Oh, I don't really like that. Okay, here's what a major chord sounds like. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds cool. Here's what a minor chord sounds like. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Let's hear what another major chord. Okay, that's C major. We know that. Yeah, we should all know C major. Okay, here's D major. Wow, C major and D major together sound really cool. Like playing off of each other. Wow, I can find a way to like make different patterns. I can tell you right now, I've never played that sequence before, but just looking at this, these graphs, like looking at, oh, this is F diminished, like, and just playing that, it's like, I could hear something that I could play. It's like, oh, I could go from this to this. So like I said, just playing the different chords, looking at them, seeing what they sound like, you know, that could be the thing that leads you to something else, right? And 
then you start adding in, you know, other little, then you start adding in other stuff, right? Now you, now you playing. play a lot of triads I <laughs> but I like that right so you know you can find the different usages for playing those different kinds of chords So definitely start somewhere, you know, start start playing like that and then play along to stuff. Play along to stuff. That really is going to help a lot. You know, you just play something and just, just play along to it. I don't like any of these patches and like for this track or whatever. I couldn't find anything. Oh, here, give me a, give me a, give me a sax. There we go. That that's what we that's what we can do. A sax will go well. A, a sax will go wonderful in here. There we go. Here we go. Are you making Little John sound jazzy? <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Maybe. We could do it. It could be done. It definitely could be done. Let me see. What what chords y'all want to do? <laughs> Keep the question simple, right? Uh, uh, Nothing left to do but win. What up, man? We're just going to keep on going down. Uh, what other instruments go good with pianos? A lot of, pretty much everything, in my opinion. But, but you know, lots of things. Um, let me fix this last little note. Okay, cool.
Come on, Chris. So boom to boom to boom to boom boom. I like that little rhythm I was doing. Okay, cool. Just do it like that first. Here we go. to do something with this volume we're gonna have to like edit remote we're gonna have to use this to like edit this yeah 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 that'll work Turn this off.
Okay. I was holding that control button. Sustain pedal, got it. Um, when I make a beat from scratch, do you start with a lead? No, typically, I think um, most times I start with a, most times I'm probably starting with a, um, most times I'm starting with um, chords. Most times I'm starting with chords. Sometimes I'll start with drums, but very rarely will I start with a lead, um, like a lead sound or like melody. I try, and you really should try to start with the melody, just like this, like, you know, that, that, that built the entire song, that built the entire song.
This is the part where you do stuff like this. There you go. that up gotta lift that up yeah especially like that that's way too low and then this is just noise this is just plain too Sustain pedal. I gotta take all of this and move this away from here so that I don't mess up the rest of the beat. And then this is a uh, little, little Jazzy John. Yeah, there you go, little Jazzy John. Paste that into there. <laughs>
do 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 this out real quick okay let me see pull these drums in hey
I don't usually ever get distortion when I'm making tracks or whatever. Um, but now that I've been using more VSTs, like native instruments, now that I'm getting more of that, I'm starting to run into more issues. Because if this was all reason, I don't think I have as many like stutter issues or like, you know, it just kind of seems like it's just like my computer is just dying of like, oh, it's not enough stuff. I'm closing. I don't never do stuff like that. closing, close no, close no menus down. Woo. Check it, check, check it like, uh, check, check, check it like, check it like, uh, check, check it like, check it like, uh. Uh, check, check, check it like, uh, check, 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 check it like, uh, check, 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 check it like, uh, check, 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 check it like, uh. Well, see, I should have good enough computer spec. I should have good enough computer spec to be able to run with no problem, right? I got 32 gigs of RAM. I'm on a um, Ryzen 7 processor. I think I got eight cores. Um, I can show you right now how many cores I got with Reason. Reason has um, it has the ability to take advantage of the cores that you have. So I have, I want to say it's eight. I want to say it's eight. It might be 16 cores, might be 16 cores, but it could be eight. Either way, either one of those numbers is plenty, right? Either one of those numbers is plenty. But I am playing on the Osseo Focus 9. Let me see. Yeah, that's the one that I usually use. That's the one I usually use. So and I don't imagine that have to change these samples that I typically have it at it should be good in there but let's see 512 get to 512 let's go to 512 let's see I think I normally do have it at 512 B Hoss what up man got a lucky day and we was able to uh let me save this as little jazzy little jazzy job so that's that thing let's just one more so bye, 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 bye. and then from there right from there we uh, we 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 stopping it from there. Hold on, pull this guy back. Pull this guy back. Bam 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 bam. And then don't don't bring that in. Don't bring that in. Just leave that off.
that, man. <laughs> Little Jazzy John right there. Little Jazzy John. All right, man. Hey, if y'all got any more questions, man, man, make sure you ask some questions, man. Make sure you ask some questions. We've been in the live stream. We've been talking about workflow. We've been talking about speeding up, getting faster and reason. We went over shortcuts. We went over browser. We went over customizing your own folders. We went over saving VST patches so that way you can load those patches up faster and you're not just searching through VSTs, right? Buffer is set to 512. Thank you, Behas. That's what I just did a few seconds ago. We went through, appreciate that, because I was having some I was having some crazy static and now we better. We went through block mode using that as organization. We went through some some pretty some pretty decent patches in terms of like effect patches that you can use speed this thing up you know we we, we need to speed this up we need to be able to I, hey i got a baseline i want that baseline to be hidden i don't want to wait i don't want to have to no 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 here drop this nasty base drop this nasty base on that base it's gonna make your base nasty okay uh, <laughs> multi-band compressor okay on the master you know speed things up okay if it's mixed right you're done you're done throw that in there you're done um um, using, 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 using templates i showed you guys how to make your own templates um we went over some music production in general how you can play over samples how you can learn scales faster find that scale practice it learn it play it with different rhythms um play with different songs play different songs try to find songs mimic melodies which is what we did Okay, thank you, Pitchman. Um, but yeah, all of that for sure, right? Um, are the things that we discussed so far in the live stream. So if you have any questions about something else, make sure that you drop those questions so we can continue to share and grow together, learn together. You know what I'm saying? And we just got a little goofy with this track right here. Got a nice little bounce to it though, you know what I'm saying? It's got a nice bounce. It's got a nice little bounce. Nice little bounce. Got a nice little bounce, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure.
feel like there's better organs in there too. I feel like there's better organs in there than that too. Well, I started off doing some other stuff, and then we played around with this little John, little John situation. Play around with this little little John situation. I'm gonna add in these little organs right here. Do something like that. And um, give me Rotor. Ro Rotor, Rotor, Rotor. That's the main reason why this, this thing was invented. That's why you were invented. You were invented for that. You were born for this, okay? For this, maybe it's Maybelline. You were born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Tell him catch a noise. Woo! Woo! I wasn't supposed to, it wasn't supposed to make that sound. As long as I'm here, you are not alone. I need more percussion. It's not hitting that percussion. It's not hitting that. Not the drive. You know what it is? It's like a literal, just something to literally make it hit the, that first part of the note. Thank you. 
Appreciate your vid and this stream. Preston Pedal, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. That's a new name. I haven't seen that name. Keep taking us to church on that organ. Ned Fink, appreciate you as well, man. Welcome to the stream. Man, something about when the... When you start hearing them sounds, man. Now I got to go somewhere else with it. Hold on. Now I got to go to... It's never, never worked like I, I wanted to, though. Take them to church. Something changed. Something changed Gotta get that soul clap. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm gonna just give me, just, just give me some, some claps real quick. I'm just do some claps. I'm just, I need that loud clap. 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 
That's too too fast. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Now, okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. So, so we're gonna bring it down to seventy-seven. Okay, bring it down to seventy-five. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. That's still too fast. That's what I'm saying. We gotta bring it down to like sixty-nine. That, that's that's all I'm looking for. Never mind. I just want them claps. Hold on, I'm gonna turn.
So I want the, uh, I want the, I want the, uh, I want the, um, woo, woo. Okay, hold on. I want, I want these, I want these acoustic drums first, right? I want these acoustic drums first, and then I'm gonna lay on those hip hop sounding drums. You feel me? So it's dun 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 dun. So uh, 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 and then we gotta go. Uh, So that's a whole nother chance. There's a whole nother turnaround we're gonna do right there. There's a whole nother turnaround we're gonna do right there. But let's let me do these drums first. Okay, so this kick drum is just coming in. It's too heavy, man. Turn my headphones up. Okay. <laughs> If I can, let me see if I can do this. Do 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 do. 
not at the other drums. At the other drums, because they, they was hitting, they was hitting a lot harder. <laughs> Some more claps in there too. Some more claps. let me know are we working with something with this are we working with something with this is this are we working with something with this how do i get out of here i hate when this happens are we working with something with this there we go so i can pull this other thing up are we working with something with this or what y'all let me know y'all let me know what am I looking for, guys? This is what I'm looking for. These drums. 
You're definitely working with some with this one. Shout outs. Thank you. I like the toms in this kit. Like the toms be sounding real good. Before I forget, I gotta do the turnaround, okay? So it's dum dum dum. So 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 if we go dum 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 something like that. should have recorded it when I did it the first time. Yes, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. That's exactly the vibe that I was going for when I was uh, doing these claps. Uh, Got to find like how I can get some. Uh, let me see. Foot stomps and claps. Take me to church. I give that. It's just that that sound that boom clutch boom clutch boom clutch do to tap it a dirt about do that the that booty da be that boo that beady to buy yeah boots and claps yeah how can i get loops and presets they trying to get me to purchase this somebody got a boots and claps man it's basically boots and claps. Splice will happen. Uh, am I getting a splice today? Sound effects. YouTube. Let me see. Take me to church. No, definitely not that. No.
No, it's definitely not that. Splice gonna have it, but I don't have a splice account. And how can I get these? How much are they trying to charge me for this? Add to cart. They want thirty-five dollars. They want thirty-five dollars. <laughs> I got too many refills in here for me to not have something like this. It's too many refills for me not to have a stump. Stomps? I got a stomp in here somewhere. Hold on, it's too many, it's too much drums in here for me not to have a decent little boot stomp. That ain't it, mm -mm. I just put boots. Every time I get ready to do this, this turnaround, I get distracted. I'm trying to do some other stuff. Because that's definitely it. If I had to just, just steal one real quick, I might have to, man. Because, listen. Stomp. Listen, they got all kind of stuff in here as a stomp. They got all kind of stuff in here. You know, instead of a stomp, you gave me somebody saying stomp your feet. Okay, wonderful. Thanks. That's drum and bass. That's that's wonderful. Instead of an actual stomp, you gave me somebody saying stomp your feet. Cool. Cool. That 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 works. That works. There's too many samples in here for one of these not to be a stomp, bro. Okay, let's do it with piano instead. So. something different but that's that's close man. We're gonna get them boots and slaps too. Yeah, that sounds like nothing like what I wanted it to sound like. It just sounds like a bunch of claps. I wonder if we can, if we go in here and go in here and maybe we can beef it up with like, maybe we can get that bite in here maybe and like and make it sound heavier than it is. Where's the claps? That didn't do anything that I wanted it to do. Hold on. Find this guy. Okay. We definitely need more claps. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. I want this bite. Thank <laughs> you. 
this to get something out of bite. Let me see Super Trooper. <laughs> session get out of here there's got to be something in here <laughs> Maybe we just need to, maybe we need to fake it, guys. We're gonna fake, fake, that. That. fake, fake it. Fake it. Move this microphone.
I like that. There we go. That's a nice little impact. Edit sample. Start this. Not what we really want though, but we can do this. We can chain these together to kind of create something. need it you don't need it every time you just need it like on certain parts after that you know what i'm saying the project yes that's the, we probably we, we probably should do that probably 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 should save the project yeah thank you <laughs> probably should save that project
hear our verse right there, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We gotta we gotta bring the tempo back. Oh, cause I'm missing this. Just repeat that first part. stomps before we get to before we get all the way to the uh before we get to this last part we stop the stomps and claps right we pull this back <laughs> Thank you. 
that melody that I was doing. I was doing. Okay, 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 thank you. Thing that would be kids choir but what if what if we use reason and we loan it up there humana okay hold on we're gonna put down this guitar for a minute what if you use reason and we load it up there humana and then what if there was a way that we could add something to this to pitch it up and make it sound like what if we added like neptune and then also um polar and um made it sound younger like if we could shift this format we don't want the pitch adjust I think we gotta get rid of snap too. This is very high pitched.
Christopher Acapella. Might have to might have to snatch me a Everett, what's up man? Welcome to the stream. Peace to you, man. Let me see. Just kids choir acapella. A two hundred kids. When I Oh, I gotta turn this off too. I don't want them taking my stuff. Let me just play this. Looking for change. Okay, so what I've been doing is, let me see. They want $50. I'm, no way. It's impossible. Okay, hold on. It's impossible. Won't, won't be paying that. No way. Um, I'm still I'm just lost in the sauce because I'm listening to this. I promise I'm not going to like do it. I'm not going to do anything with the with this. And if I do decide to do something, then I then I will actually purchase it. I will actually purchase it. Okay, that's kind of wild. Okay, watch me out here. Okay, we just snatch this real quick. This kids choir, kids choir. I'm not gonna say where I got it from. I'm not going cause, oh man. I just need to hear how it will sound with the track. And then it's like, okay, we gotta figure out a way that we can get that, you know, and have some words for it and hire us a choir or something, you know, like go for it like that. Okay, but here we go, kids choir. I'm saving it. I ripped it from YouTube. 
audacity, not saving the project, coming over here to my samples. Um, we will come to the sample situation. Oh, that's that's uh, what's the name? Uh, Money rolls, cars and clothes. That's how all my partners roll. Twenty foes. Okay, let me see. Go back. This is some of my family, some of my family member. We was uh, we were. There you go. There you go.
see what other ones I got. I got some different ones. Pulling up. It's like some long samples. The sample is like so like the recording I should say is so long though. It's like a whole session that we did. So like it's like Uncle Ben with Auntie Millie. Mama didn't even Ben with Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, this is not singing. Where's the singing? That's what he said. I caught it. The next one is. This is just a bunch of talking. Where is the song? <laughs> Y'all just doing a bunch of talking. We're trying to record it right here. Ben with the song. My mama didn't even say it. Oh my gosh. Can y'all tell we just be having a bunch of fun? Ah, that's hilarious. We, we are going, we are going to hallelujah. Thanks, thanks, DL. Hallelujah. 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 Killing it. They was
don't think I want to include the the vocals until I find some vocals that'll really roll with it. But in general, like just having that, like the the vibe that it brings, like, like the way that the stuff we got so far. I, I I think I think that's something right there. I think that's something right there. I think that's Preston, shout out to you, man. <coughs> oh no, I didn't have my sound effects. Shout out to you, Preston, man. Shout out to everybody that's watching the live stream, man. I hope y'all enjoy y'all weekends as well. I'm glad people could catch the live stream a little earlier today, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know. It hasn't been, you know, the case that we could get in and do a live stream. Man, it feels good, man. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. It's Friday. Um, and we already in, you know what I'm saying, getting some stuff ready for the weekend. So, man, that's that's really cool, man. It's really cool. It's really dope that we're able to do this live stream and get things going for you guys um, and just have some fun together, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me fix my microphones real quick. Okay. So, right now, we are at four hours. We definitely went over, we definitely went over the main conversation that we wanted to have. We definitely had that main conversation we wanted to have for sure. Um, concerning getting faster in reason. And, yeah, just a lot of fun with that. I know people are checking out, you know what I'm saying, um, but take them to church. We took them to church real quick. Um, of course, Bihas, you know what I'm saying? We took them to church real quick, and that was fun, man. That was a good time. So, Reason did just have an update. They updated 12.7. 
We're at 12.7 now. The last major update was at 12.5. That was the last major update. And pretty much everything since then has just been like bug fixes, fixing things, just kind of, you know, straighten things out with the with the software. So it hasn't been like a whole, like a major update. The, the last major update was about 12.5. 12.5 so but if you're not updated you know go ahead and get get updated get updated so you can um make sure that you're up and current what do you guys think um in terms of reason i saw some different people saying different things about oh replay the little john beat <laughs> let me load it up let me load up let me load, load the replay the re little john beat actually i'm thinking i'm looking to see like what's happening with me because I still got some time. And the only other thing I wanted to do, I, I wanna play, I wanna play, I downloaded Modern Warfare. I downloaded Modern Warfare. I've been playing, I've been practicing, I've been trying to trying to get my, my score back up. And it's crazy because I was playing, right? And then like I was like, oh man, I'm not doing too good. So then I stopped recording it. And then as soon as I start recording it, all of a sudden I just get all these kills. It's just like, oh, for real. So now that I'm not recording, I start playing the game real good. That was annoying. But uh, it's been fun playing with that too. So I was like, oh, we might, we might switch gears. We might switch gears and 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 pull up and pull up Call of Duty, um, just to keep this thing going. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it going. Um. And those that hang out will hang out and those that don't won't. And, you know, we'll just kind of hang out until the missus, until the missus come home and say that I got to stop having fun. You know, we'll just hang out till then. I'm pulling up the Lil John, Lil Jazzy John, I'm pulling up Lil Jazzy John. So I can see. Where Lil Jazzy John. Little Jazzy John pulling that guy up right now. You know. Here, come right here. Gonna go, little Jazzy John. Little John, little Jazzy John. <laughs>
That's it right there. I didn't even have my headphones on with that one. I didn't even have my headphones on with that one, b too. <laughs> Okay, now DL, I saw you talking about Willy Wonka, right? I saw you talking about Willy Wonka. So I went to go search it. And I was Jello like, Yo, it's so many. It's so many Willy Wonka type. It's so many of these. Holla beats. at me. Yeah, and that's already been done. It's, and it's been done dope. It's already been done and it's already been done dope. So, um, man. But what is the actual original? The original song. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the look of it. I think I need to calm down a little bit. See, look, they don't even have the... It's nowhere I can even find, like, the original from Willy Wonka. The video... Okay, here it is. Okay, I gotta turn this off. And then I got to take this off the screen because it'd be tripping. Man, that music is dope. All right, so I got the whole thing right here. I'm finna export it. Export as wave. And then this is a, uh, I don't, well, uh, let's see. Willy Wonka sample. Okay, we're gonna hit save. Okay, and then this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it, right? Um, I like to record in in audacity that's all i do because it's just the easiest way for me to record something in from my um it's the easiest way for me to record something in from my computer uh it's the easiest way to to do that right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do that i'm gonna load up rip x daw so i can get the stems uh so i can get the stems from that track right and then in the meantime what i'm gonna do is um I'm going to close the stream and I'm going to load up the stream again. Okay. So I'm going to close the stream. I'm going to load up the stream again because I don't want this video to be affected in case that it decides to, in case, in the case that it decides to, you know, give me issue, 
I don't want it to give me issue. I don't want it to give me issue. Okay. So we're just going to hit rip on rip X doll. So we're using rip X doll right now. It's going to rip the Willy Wonka sample that we just got through uh, recording in audacity. So we recorded the Willy Wonka sample in audacity. And now we are going to send it into rip X doll so that it can, um, so that it can what's it called uh get the stem so then that way it'll have all of the stems and everything like that inside a rip x doll and yeah that's exactly what i'm saying like i'm not trying to get <laughs> i'm not trying to get copyright strict stricken i'm not trying to you know the main thing they be just it just be like oh we finna you know take the video down that happened recently when I did the Miley Cyrus and all of that, when I was doing a little Miley Cyrus or whatever uh, beat that I did, oh no, this thing not working. When I when I did that, it it said that it was like, oh, we 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 took everything down. I was like, dang, that's messed up. Why they do that? Okay, there we go. I was like, why did this thing stop working? Yeah, it, on that video, it gave me a strike and it was like, oh, we taking the video down. But all I had to do was trim out the parts. I just had to trim out the parts that featured the song and the song. Yeah, this thing is tripping. The song that it was was um, what song was it that was that it did that for. So for whatever reason, this thing don't want to work. OK, fine. The song that it did it for was. um. Not Nirvana, but whoever them people was. So it did strike that song. So that's that. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to wait for Oompa Loompa Doopity Doo to do what it doopity do. It takes a minute in Rip X Daw. It, it does take a minute in Rip X Daw uh, in order for me to be able to, you know, separate the stems. But it's pretty cool how it will actually go through and, you know, it will separate those stems, man. It will definitely separate them stems. Doompa, 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 doopity doo. It's taking all day. Shout outs to you guys. Oh. I did it again. Here we go. Shout out to you guys. So all the people that came through to the stream was hanging out with me. We're going we're gonna to keep hanging out, man. Uh, but we're going to switch gears. Oh, here we go. Oompa Loompa looks like it's done. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm finna load it back up. We finna do another Rip X doll. Uh, does the stems have any artifacts in the audio after it's ripped? Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 not like, it's not like a perfect rip. You know, of course. I mean, you know. And then depending on the song, some songs are better and you know less difficult than others right so some songs you know you'll be able to rip it and you'll hear it sound much better you know so it's like it just depends on the song really depends on the song rip x and rip x doll rip x works faster oh, okay i gotta keep that in mind i gotta keep that in mind that rip x works faster See, now I'm like, okay, oh, I can do that. I can just turn this guy off, and then I can play it. Let me see. Let me see. I'm playing the, from Rip X right now. When you go so down sweet
as far as stem as far as the stem separation goes between the two i can't really i can't really say for fl studio because i've never used fl studio to do the stem separation from what i see from people on youtube when i see them use the stem separation in fl studio i almost want they're either like neck and neck or rip x is like on top and the reason why i would say that for rip x is because with rip x you can actually go in and do a whole bunch of stuff like you can change a lot of stuff about the different parts of the stem inside of the program right so like with fl you get the stem so you just get the audio you know you just get the audio and then whatever plugins and stuff that you have that's just that's just what you've got but you can repair the audio with rip x you can change the sound so you can change if you got like piano you can change the piano to make it sound like something else make it sound like a different instrument and so on and so forth like when it comes to that you can't really beat it you know what i'm saying like you can't beat it when it comes to that it's pretty it's pretty dope in that regard of the different ways that you can modify and affect the stems time pitch effects repair sounds changing the sound altogether all of those things can be done with rip x so that 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 really is just the difference between the two so now, now that i've you know now that i've kind of broken all the stems up i've ripped all the stems now i can actually create the Willy Wonka rip, right? And it'll come in this folder right here. I'm gonna just put new and then we'll put Willy Wonka. Okay. Um oh snap. Yeah, allow the app. Move. I'm literally using the app. What's wrong with y'all? Um I swear the computer be trying to like the com the computer be trying to like save you or like you know what i'm saying rescue you from some stuff and just be like listen be paying attention when it's time to pay attention this this was actually me this, this wasn't another program doing it it was me um so i believe if you want to do it you need to select separate layers full rip selected layers and then we're going to hit export and then uh i'm going to go back to this so i can see what the file location is documents rip x rips so then I'll come here to uh, my documents folder and we'll go to documents. We'll go to rip X rips. And then here is Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka sample. Yeah, it's there. It thinks that that's guitar, but it's not really. Snow percussion piano. Strings. It's missing some stuff. That's the main that's the main sound right there. It's them the strings. That's the main sound. Let me see. Did it finish exporting? Is there a way for me to know it's still exporting? Or did it just do it but it just didn't do everything okay maybe so i'm gonna go to export and this time i'm gonna put separate stems full rip okay export no i don't want to do that export and then separate stems and we'll select the folder we'll select rips boom here you go export okay so now we hit export again. So now here's our Willy Wonka sample. Maybe this time it has even less. Something I'm doing wrong with my export. Percussion and strings. I really can't tell. No, it's not doing anything else. Okay, cool. So let's go to export. We'll do separate layers. Full rip, selected rips. Let's do full rip and let's say yes. Overwrite everything. So it all should be there. But now I don't see my, where's the vocal though? Oh, it's muted. Oh, that's why. Okay. So now, now I see the problem here, people. 
All right, so export, we'll do the selected rips, okay, and select rips, this one, the voice, select rips from rips panels, and we'll just do full rip, separate layers, export, overwrite it, and then this time, it should have, what, 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 there we are, because that's the main thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, cool. So now I have a folder that has the the stems. I have a folder that has the stems of that. Okay, so we'll be working on that soon. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all for coming through to the live stream, man. Every time I do that, I mess that up. All right, appreciate y'all for coming through to the live stream, man. Had to just repeat that real quick. All right, and then um, when I get a chance, we're going to do that. Uh, Serato Sample is pretty good at it, too. But I think I think RipX has been the fastest one for me. Like, I couldn't get Serato to work when I was trying to do it. I couldn't get it to work. Yeah, exactly. Oh, let me make sure that, um, well, I don't need to do that for this one. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. Peace. That just feels like such a cold exit. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm finna do. I got some time. I got Oompa Loompa. I want to put that in my back pocket. I don't want to do that on this stream because I feel like this live stream. I don't want to. I don't want to do that right now. I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to do that. We finna load this thing up real quick. We finna have some fun. And if y'all if y'all want to hang around, man, I I, I welcome y'all to hang around. If y'all want to check out, I understand. If y'all want to check out, feel me. But we finna do that. Okay, let me see YouTube. <laughs> he said, "Uh oh, he's stalling." I I I, I man. The only problem is I don't want that to, I don't want it to give me no copyright issues. I really don't. I really don't want it to give me no copyright issues. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't, I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it's old enough to not, to not do that. But just in case, I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that. Let me see something real quick. I'm saying, right? Like, it's not worth it, right? I don't think it's worth it, guys. Oompa, loompa, doompa, doompa, dee, dee. Conrad Thompson, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the family, man. We got we got somebody to subscribe. Thanks for subscribing.
<laughs> okay. Oh, that's why, because this this thing froze when I opened up when I opened up uh what's the name? It froze. Okay, for sure. But I'm 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 setting up my next live stream. I'm setting up my next live stream so we can be ready to go. All right, y'all, I'm finna I'm finna end this stream. We're gonna go to the other stream. <laughs>